Healing in Wrath Classic is a completely different struggle, because let's be real, the game is fast. I mean, how could anyone deal with 50% mortal strikes, beast cleave damage, or RMP CC chains? Well, there is one healer up to the task, and our smartest viewers might already know where this is going. But if you still think Resto Druid or Disc Priest is the best healer in Wrath, we got some news for you. Luckily, you've come to the right place, as we will predict the healer meta for Season 5. And don't worry, if you're finding healing difficult in Classic, you're not alone. Knowing how to deal with all the cleaves can feel like an impossible task, no matter what spec you play. Luckily, the class courses at skillcap.com are designed to teach you the ins and outs of healing in PvP. Our guides show you how to heal just like a pro, because we only collaborate with the best players in WoW to make all of our videos. With our courses, you are sure to get ahead of the competition and fast, and that's why over half a million users have trusted Skillcap for over a decade. We're so confident in your results that we even offer a money back guarantee if you don't gain at least 400 rating while actively using our website. Check us out today and sign up with an exclusive discount offer below. Now onto the S tier. Unfortunately, the highest tier is a rather exclusive club, and there is only one member. Holy Paladin! Even though Pallies will certainly have competition, there are a few reasons why they will excel in Season 5. The first reason is often overlooked, and it's simply the fact that they have the most base armor out of any healer. With damage being the highest in the early expansion and without armor penetration being widely available, simply having more passive durability is a massive help since it can sometimes deter enemy teams from actually going on the healer. And while they might have a shield for themselves, they have a few mechanics that act as literal shields for their team. In Season 5, Divine Sacrifice and Hand of Protection will be incredibly important for dealing with the Cleave Fiestas of the early expansion. Without massive damage mitigations like these, some comps like Beast Cleave or TSG would simply have a reign of terror over the ladder. And on the opposite end of the spectrum, Sacred Cleansing is able to provide coverage into any wizard team, and will definitely leave some players scratching their head as their spells get resisted despite being hit capped. On the meta side of things, Paladins are designed to shine in the 2s and 3s bracket, and will be equally as important in 5v5, partially for the reasons we've already mentioned, but also thanks to Aura Mastery, which slots them into a comfortable position into any team comp built around caster DPS. So yeah, Holy Paladins are above and beyond the most dynamic healer of the early expansion. While they might not be the most glamorous, they are certainly well positioned to do well throughout Wrath Classic. Even though Holy Pally might be the best, it still has some honest competition. Disc Priest, as you might have guessed, is one of those competitors. First up, the bread and butter healing combo that carried Disc in TBC returns in Wrath, but is even better thanks to Penance. This combo is empowered greatly in Season 5 thanks to the addition of Borrowed Time, which is an incredibly important way Priests can min-max globals despite lower levels of haste. So while other healers might find it difficult to budget enough of the haste stat in the early expansion, Disc comes built in with a haste amplifier of its own in order to smooth out its rotation. The biggest issue facing priests throughout the entire expansion is their vulnerability to melee cleaves, which will be quite abundant in the early expansion. When left alone, Discipline lacks the tools necessary to truly escape physical DPS and relies heavily on the support of mages, rogues, ret paladins, or hunters to peel. On the flip side, Disc Priests will be one of the most efficient healers in Dispel Cleaves, due in part to their insane Dispel protection combined with Prayer of Mending. Getting multiple bounces of Palm can help avoid some of the cheese of Season 5, like in the clip we're showing now, where Prayer of Mending simply outheals Starfall damage. Finally, Priests have access to some amazing comps. In 2v2, Disc Priest Sub Rogue will definitely be a top contender for ladder play, as we highlighted in our recent tier list. On the 3v3 side of things, both RMP and PHP give Priests two S tier comps that are well positioned to do well in Season 5. So, with access to some top tier setups, we think Disc definitely deserves its spot in the high tiers, despite one glaring weakness. Joining Disc on the A tier are Druids. Unfortunately, there are two massive differences between Resto and our other top tier healers. The first is the fact that they lack any passive CC reduction which means that every silence, stun, and fear will last their full duration. While this might not be relevant in every matchup, it certainly hurts druids in the fast-paced meta of Season 5. Secondly, rest of druids lack a magic dispel and are limited to a simple decurse and poison removal. Again, not the biggest deal in every matchup, but this can limit their comp options for highly competitive play. So, with these two glaring weaknesses, why are druids still considered high tier for Season 5? 
Well, for one, their healing output is still considerably strong, and thanks to Tree of Life, druids are practically immune to a major category of CC from a few metacomps. On top of this, their mobility removes one of the major problems facing other healers, and instead of tanking melee damage, druids have the luxury of being able to avoid it. Finally, healer mana will be a big issue across the board in the early expansion, but Innervate will help dampen that problem. Although it can be dispelled, better resto druids will cover Innervate with trash buffs, increasing its value and helping avoid a key healing issue that will affect all healers early on. On the meta side of things, Resto has access to one of the absolute best 3v3 comps, with LSD well positioned to handle the various melee cleaves that will populate the ladder. Playing with a Warlock in particular will be super beneficial, as Devour Magic can help cover the weakness of lacking a magic to spell. So just like Disc Priests, Resto Druids come with some glaring problems, but still will be highly competitive in Season 5. With our high tiers sorted, we only have two specs left, so let's finish things off with the mid and low tiers. Resto Shaman is our only B tier representative, and before you freak out, being a mid tier isn't bad. Resto Shamans have a few unique benefits, so let's cover them one by one. The most obvious benefit is Bloodlust. You should already know how this works. Big damn, right? While this buff helps out everyone, it is disproportionately strong for caster cleaves, giving Resto Shamans a few meta comps in 3v3. But perhaps the most overlooked benefit of playing with Resto Shamans is something more boring. It's Earth Shield. No, not because of its healing, but because it is amazing dispel protection. Each stack of Earth Shield needs to be individually removed, which gives Resto Shamans some of the most amazing dispel protection in the game. With these huge benefits, why are Resto Shamans in the mid tiers? Well, for one, their overall healing output is not spectacular. Sure, during Bloodlust, it's great, but once it ends, shamans are a sitting duck in 3v3. In season 5, there will be a massive issue since it means they have to chain cast heals and their mana regeneration isn't great. Of course they have mana tied totem, but better players will skillfully have their weak auras ready to snipe it down. Finally, without any magic to spell, resto shamans are fairly limited with comp options. In any case, we don't want to give you the impression that shamans are bad. They are certainly not. However, they do have more obvious weaknesses than any of the other options in Season 5. Fortunately, they are not the worst healer out there. No, there is something far worse. Honestly, Holy is not something we would generally recommend for PvP, which is why we're slotting it in the C tier. That being said, it has a few interesting mechanics that seem really strong on paper. The first is Blessed Resilience, which is more or less a near permanent roar of sacrifice when getting trained, providing crit immunity for 6 seconds after taking any critical damage. On top of this, Holy Priests actually have a poison dispel, though it only works on themselves with the body and soul talent. Kinda weird, but hey, good for them. They also have the familiar Guardian Spirit cooldown, which might not be as strong in Wrath, but is still pretty good. So with all these unique options, how could Holy possibly be bad? Well, remember the bread and butter healing combo for Discipline? One of the reasons it's so effective is due to Grace, which provides Dispel protection on Shield, Palm, and Renew. Holy Priests have these spells too, but lack the ability to reliably protect them from offensive purges. This means that Holy needs to rely heavily on hardcasted heals, which makes it super vulnerable to interrupts, especially from melee cleaves. And for these reasons, we really don't recommend Holy for any competitive arena play. And with that, we have a complete picture of the healing meta for Season 5. Holy Paladins are cut above the rest, having excellent coverage into the aggressive cleaves of the early expansion. Disc Priests and Resto Druids will be their main competition, having some key meta comps of their own, though coming with a few individual weaknesses. Resto Shamans are the weakest meta healer and are more restricted than any of the high tiers when it comes to comp selection. They are still quite strong, however, and fully capable of Gladiator or even Rank 1. With that said, we don't recommend Holy Priest for PvP. It might be possible to win in short aggressive games, but not consistently at higher ratings. You can certainly try it out in Arena, but might struggle to climb past a certain rating. But no matter what journey you take in Wrath Classic, we have you covered at skillcap.com. Right now, we have hundreds of videos, including class courses and arena commentaries, instantly available at your fingertips. One subscription gets you access to Wrath Classic and Retail WoW, allowing you to stay ahead of the competition no matter what expansion you play. Take advantage of our rating gain guarantee and visit the link below for an exclusive discount offer. Alright guys, we hope you learned something useful about the healer meta in Season 5. Give us your prediction in the comments below as to what healer you think will be the most dominant in the early expansion. In any case, thank you all for watching. See you soon.